streets, when you go out of the country, someplace, you can get arrested for that. Just know the environment, and gosh, there's eyes constantly on you. But I'm sure he wasn't thinking about all of those things, and believe me, I'm sure. I mean, he, it was an innocent mistake, but uh, not in that country. And it should make anybody think if they're looking for a thrill seek to go over there, and I'm surprised that people still go over there. And here is something that's really bizarre. And we got more of the interview, by the way, and the interview questions of Fred Otto, the dad of uh, Otto Warmbear. But Dennis Rodman, he be gifted of all things. You're not even going to believe this. I just I had to reread it and I had to confirm it because, like I say, there's you know, and we <laughs> there's just garbage propaganda <laughs> on the internet. How could this be? Uh, of all things that I read today. And I'm dead serious. You got to check this out for yourself. Dennis Rodman uh, gifted Kim Jong Un the art of the deal signed by Donald J. Trump. And it was given to Rodman when he was on The Apprentice. So he be gifted him that book, The Art of the Deal. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself. Of all books, you think that he's a huge fan of Donald Trump? That he loves Donald Trump, the president of the United States? And he's gifting him that book? <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, really? Do you do you want to get killed? Do you want to be thrown in the jail? I mean, I thought about that. Um, can you imagine what uh, press that would be that they detained and they jailed of disrespect of the, uh, the the leader there Dennis Rodman locked up I mean that's pretty uh, man you got cojones to give him the book the art of the deal so it's autographed by the president of the United States who cares uh, wonder if he's got funny feelings I hope he's drinking some good champagne that it just kind of uh, it was lighthearted. It was just it just uh, it funny. Said yeah, I was just thought it was a joke I had left over, uh, but it'd be worth something. So here, gosh, it's kind of an odd gift. You'd think you'd give him something else. Uh, here's a question that was posed uh, to Fred earlier today. What was the reason? for Otto's release, and this is how he answered it. Well, I think the State Department was negotiating pretty tough with them, and so um, I don't know that we're ever going to find the answer. They did not do this out of the kindness of their hearts. North Korea doesn't do anything out of the kindness of their hearts. So, But we'll not. I don't think we'll find out. No, probably won't. A lot of negotiation going on, and uh, thank God for those of the State Department and what deal was... was uh, I, I, you know what I'm thinking? Uh, possibly because Dennis Rodman's over there and, you know, he's probably feeling good about Dennis being over there and high five him and, and doing some basketball with him. He's probably hungry and wanted some more Swiss cheese. So, uh, they probably got the Chinese to load some cheese and some, uh, some beer and some champagne and all the good stuff, uh, to allow a barge in there to, uh, be able to feed everybody, uh, a nice supply. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking. There must've been something like that down the line, but I guess we'll never know. Uh, Fred was asked this question. Tell us about the phone call. Uh, Donald Trump called him last night, and how did that conversation go? President came? Trump called called me at, say, 10 o'clock last night and just wanted to find out how, I, how Cindy and I were doing and wanted to know about Otto. Um, it was a really nice conversation. It was, it was kind, and it was, are you taking care of yourself? And, you know, we worked hard, and, um, you know, and, and, I, and I'm sorry this is the outcome. And he told me a little bit about, you know, Secretary Tillerson and Joe Yoon, and, you know, they teamed up, and they, they made things happen. And, uh, you know, he was very candid, and just it was a nice conversation. And to be honest with you, I had avoided conversations with him. And and then, because to what end? I'm dealing with my son. This is about Otto. But I did take the call, and, and it was gracious, and it was nice, and it felt good. And I thank him for that. And, you know, he didn't get any phone call or anything supportive of uh, Barack Hussein Obama. This must have taken a big toll on you, Fred. You know, we've been we've been brutalized for the last 18 months with misinformation no information and and so it's it's we're we're, we are 
proud of the fact that our family is are basically happy, positive people. And, and we're going to stay that way. And we're thrilled that our son is on American soil. We're in, we're in the school that he thrived in. And I'm able to talk to you on Otto's behalf. And I'm able to wear the jacket that he wore when he gave his confession. I'm not confessing. I'm speaking. But Otto... I love you and I'm so crazy about you and I'm so glad you're home. You are such a great guy. And by the way, my family has been rock solid throughout this. We have supported the heck out of one another and um, it's just been a, it's, 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 it's been a wonderful experience to feel that. And now we get to feel the love of the community and not have this crazy, oh, what are they thinking? Are we afraid of what North Korea will say? Don't put ribbons on the trees. All that's gone. So we don't care now. Fred Warmbear, great American. We're praying for your son, Otto. Uh, praying for a miracle of God to awaken him out of that coma. What a nightmare that he must have uh, experienced over there. We uh, wish that on no one. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. If you love our show, please share the show. You can do that on social media, on email, or just simply call someone. We're listener-supported. Become involved today. Keith Allen, For the People. All the best. May God bless.